What's up everybody, my name is Shyman Rocky. You guys are watching Fluffy Flamingos where we teach you cool magic tricks and how to better your films. Hey guys, you wanna, you wanna, see, you wanna see something cool? Check this out. This, look we got, we got this deck of cards here guys. Okay, so we're gonna pull out any random card. Let's say it's the Queen of Hearts. It could really be any card. Okay, so watch carefully because by the time I take the Queen and put it on the table, it's gonna be two times bigger than the rest of the deck of cards. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, look, look at that, guys. This is where the fun begins, though. Oh, look at that. Now it's two times smaller than the deck of cards. Check this out, we're gonna take the queen. Make it big again. Today is Magic Monday. And I'm gonna be teaching you another trick that you can do with a double backer. Today we're gonna to be using the Orbit Playing Cards 5th Edition. So all you're going to need to do this trick is get a double backer. Again, if you don't know what a double backer is, it is just a card with the same back on both sides. So I'm gonna bring you down to the table and I'll show you what we're doing here. So for this trick, you're gonna need two things. You need a deck of cards with a double backer and a wallet because this trick is a card to wallet routine. So we're just gonna leave this inside this little pouch here. And that is your setup. Just a double backer inside your wallet, close it, leave it in your pocket, and you're good to go. Spectator can choose any card they want. So in this case, they chose the queen of spades. So this trick is actually really, really easy. All you have to do is take the card and control it to the top in whichever way you would like to. You can shuffle, false cut, or whatever it is you would like to do. Make sure that it stays on top. That's all you need. What you're gonna do is you're gonna be like, okay, so you chose a card, the Queen of Spades, and then we put it back in the deck and we shuffled it, and actually right now it's missing. All you have to do is you have to fan out the cards and just go like this. Like, go all the way through the cards, and so the reason that this works is because if I fan it this way, and I show everyone like this, and I'm just moving the cards this way, they're just gonna be seeing the bottom card. But the fact is that the fan, when I do this, the queen of spades is on top and it's being hidden underneath my, my the flesh of my hand. So I know, I know it's kind of hard to see at a table's point of view, but so just make sure that the card's on top, and the deck is facing down and fan the cards. And you're just basically going to go through them like this and the spectators are, wa are watching the cards from the face. So as you're doing this, you say, do you see your card and they say no. Now, there's a little bit of psychology behind this, but I started doing this a couple years ago. I kind of made it up, I think. I haven't found this method anywhere else. By fanning out the cards and looking through what seems like all of them, they're not gonna really ask you to go back. Not once in the three years that I've done this, has anyone asked me to go back in the card so they can see the top card? No one ever has ever told me that. So basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your wallet and they're gonna see this. So let that moment sink in for a second. Like, yeah, the card's gone, it's in the wallet. You pull out the double backer and then you know what to do from there. Just do a double lift and you found their card in their wallet. Now there is a second variation to this trick. You can just take the card, put it in the wallet start fresh and then ask them to name any card they want so let's say they said the three of hearts so there it is right there i'm going to look through it and then i'm just going to cut to the three of hearts to the top and be like dude that's crazy I'm like what what out of all the cards you said there's one card in this pack of cards that's missing and it's the three of hearts and like no way and you're like yeah look you fan it out do that same move just show them like this look see the three of hearts is actually missing from the deck of cards. So they're like, oh my God, it is missing. And then you pull out your wallet, pull out the double backer. Say, look, there's been one card inside of my wallet and you said one card. That card is the three of hearts. And just do a clean double lift on like what I just did. Show them the three of hearts and then put it back in the center. And when you're done, you can just open up your wallet, put it back in and start over again and again and again until you're satisfied with doing this trick. 
It's very easy. So once again, just quick overview. Just to start off, you're gonna put a card inside your wallet. Have them pick any card or think of any card. Control that card to the top. Make a fan, show them through all the cards. Say, look, the card you're thinking of is actually not inside the deck of cards. Open the wallet, take this out, and then be like, okay guys, look, the card you were thinking of, do a double lift, was inside my wallet the whole time. And that is it for this tutorial. So I'm gonna show you guys from this angle real quick. So here's the queen of spades is on top of the pack. I'm just gonna fan out the cards. And I'm like, look, the queen of spades is actually not inside the deck of cards. That's basically the, the entire thing. So again, on top, fan, and here's the queen of spades right here on the bottom, but no one's gonna look for that. So you just look through everything. Look, 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 it's not there. Oh my God. And it looks very fair. Um, in people's minds when I'm doing this, it looks like I'm letting them see every last card. So they think it's fair enough to the point that they don't even need to ask to look at the top card. That thought doesn't really go into their head. It just kind of, yeah, this seems fair enough. So I'm going to assume that it's not in there anyway. So it's not very suspicious at all. That's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope this tutorial actually helps you guys with a new method for card to wallet. I used this one for years until I just bought the Quiver card to wallet. If you guys don't know what that is, I just put up a video a couple of days ago about what it is and how good it is for a very natural performance. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll leave a link in the description box below. It's this wallet right here. Superb product, but for the time being, if you guys don't have it, I suggest you use this card to wallet. It's very fast, very clean, and no real switching involved, just a double lift. I'll see you guys in the next video. I, it's probably gonna be the California video. It's been taking forever, but hopefully it'll turn out better because of the time I've been putting into it. I'll see you guys then. Have a great day. What's up everybody? My name is Shimas Rahi and you're watching Fluffy Flamingos. Gross, do that again. Today is Magic Monday. What is, why are you talking like that? <laughs>